Hi again everyone, I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Abigail. And this is a follow-up to a video I did a while ago. Um, the narcissist uses your guilt against you. And here is her story. Hi Ollie, hope you're doing well. I wrote you a letter a couple months ago. In short, it was about me committing an abortion under coercion from my borderline mother and narc sister. That's right, under, yeah, and she had this, so her mother and sister basically guilted her into having an abortion and didn't tell her husband. And I told her, you know, and they're using that guilt against her. And I told her she had to come clean with her husband and get away from these people. Less than two weeks after conception, I was emotionally tortured and beat down to the state of mind that allowed my mom to manipulate me to do something I will never forgive myself for. Not only that, she convinced me to hide it from my husband, hide the fact that I killed his child, all because she didn't think he was good enough for me. When I wrote you, I was on antidepressants. My life was going nowhere. Your video and all the commentaries from the community are the reason I am still alive. Thank you so much. So here's the follow-up after my response. The day after you posted the video, I came clean with my husband. I should have never underestimated him. The man I married truly cares about me. We're closer than ever. There are no secrets between us anymore, and it feels amazing. He is my family now. I am off to the head I'm off the head meds. There is no need for them anymore. I'm learning to live with what I've done. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Once the toxicity is out of your life, somebody can actually love you. Hmm. Amazing how that works out, huh? I told you nothing was going to change. I told you nothing was going to change until you first came clean with your husband and then cut them out of your life. And I said the chips may fall where they may with that, but you may be surprised with your husband. And I'm glad, it, I'm, I'm glad he was supportive. After the video, I've gone low contact with my parents and sister. The borderline shitstorm through this time was spectacular. One day, my mom would love, bam, love bomb me the next one cursed and yelled at me through a bunch of messages. It was like clockwork. I found out that my mom had conceived my sister to go through, had, had convinced my sister to go through an abortion years ago too. This was fucking routine for her. The mind-boggling thing is, when I was going through her emotional abuse, my sister, knowing full well that this was our mom's little routine, said absolutely nothing. Of course, because women destroy women. This is how it works, man. This is what women do to each other. They destroy each other. It happened to me. Well, it's going to happen to you, too. Mother made it look like I was about to give birth to literally to literally antichrist like this particular pregnancy was so fundamentally wrong it would end the freaking world metaphorically speaking had i known it had happened i might have slipped away from her narc hyp hypnosis but dear sis said nothing my mom told me about it herself later on not only that i'm the youngest of the two kids but i but i but i was supposed to be the youngest of three children this twisted abortion bullshit has been going on in the family for two generations. My dad's mother forced my mother to abort the middle child. The middle, so she already had one in it. Narcissists love abortions. They love them. They love them. They love them. To destroy light and to get away with it. To be able to get away with it. You know what they're doing. They know they're destroying life. They know what they're doing. I've had so many women who have had abortions right into this channel and say, I know what I did, and it destroyed my life. All women, especially black women, but all women. And, and so many times, the mothers drove them to it. The mothers drove them, forced them to have them. Why? Because borderline mothers love abortion love it love it love it i believe if she, if she still been alive when i was conceived i wouldn't be writing this letter of course you wouldn't of course you wouldn't 
ironically, I'm named after that woman. My true name is the name of the of a woman who could have who could have killed me. Did my mother do this to us, sort of, to have revenge on her grandma? Why would someone who'd gone through something like this want her own children to suffer the same fate? Because women hate women. Mothers destroy their daughters. And abortion is probably the worst thing a woman can go through. And having it forced on you by another, it's devastating. See, with a lot of women, like, this whole maternal instinct is bullshit. I'm not saying all women, obviously, but obviously with the narcissism. Their first instinct isn't maternal. It's revenge. It's evil. It's how do I keep that woman from having something I didn't have? How do I make sure that woman who who I don't even know or have anything against, or they might even be my daughter, is destroyed the same way I am. That's the toxicity. That's the devastation. That's why I say you can only cut these people out of your life. You can only go no contact with this. There's no negotiating with this. There's no living with this. There shouldn't be. You can't. It needs to be exercised from your life. It's evil. They like it. They don't like the physical feeling of abortion and the guilt that they personally get from it. What they do like is putting that guilt on you, which is exactly what you what you did, which which I told you, which was what your first video was about was about the guilt. They love putting the guilt on you because the guilt is what can be used against you. They love to see another woman destroyed in the same way they were. Again, this is why I say, again, and I'm going to do a full video on this, why the end result of feminism is Islam. Throw them in a burqa, yell at them, have them arrested for being out of line, for being too womanly. It's the same line of thinking. It's the same line of thinking. Self-hatred for oneself and the need to hurt other women. And they like it. They're enjoying doing it. Though they know how destructive it was personally to them, they will then turn around and use it for their own enjoyment. And believe me, they get enjoyment out of it. Out of they get enjoyment out of expanding the legacy of this. I have another question. I have another another question I have is this. I have avoidant personality disorder. There are the most and there are most probably narcissistic traits mixed in there too. After this whole story, my husband and I discussed everything thoroughly and we feel like we're now ready to become parents. No more fear or panic about it. I know he wants it and I want it. We are determined and if my family tries anything, they will never see us again. They shouldn't be seeing you anyway. Listen, of course they're going to try something. The narcissist is always going to try something, especially if they find out you're pregnant. They're going to try to have you incarcerated. They're going to try to have you institutionalized. They're going to try to have your, turn your child away from you, against you. All of it. Of course, the narcissist will try something. The narcissist will always try something. You need low contact is not good enough. It's got to be no contact. And my question is, now that your husband knows the truth and knows what your mother did, did your husband turn or go say anything to your mother or sister? Say, hey, cunt wonder twins. Hey, cunt wonder twins who killed my child. If I ever see either one of you around here again, I'm going to air out your dirty laundry to anybody who listens, which I think should be happening anyway. Don't ever let me see you come around here again, murderers. Because that's what they are, murderers. And make no mistake, 
they enjoy doing it to you. They may not enjoy having it done to themselves, but they sure enjoy paying it forward to you. The narcissist will take what they hated happening to them and take pleasure in paying it forward on you. That's why it continues to go on and on and on and on. This is what women have been doing to each other forever. The leash my mother's always had around my neck is broken, finally. But I really wanted to know first if people like me can make decent parents. I mean, if I was born from and raised by narcs, is there a chance for me to avoid translating that abuse to my own children? I want this twisted cycle to stop on me. And what is your, and what is your take on avoidance? There really, there's really not much info on the disorder apart from basic articles and traits. Again, thank you so much for your help. This community is absolutely amazing. Take care, Abigail. Well, Abigail, as long as you understand what was right and what was wrong, and you're not going to try to enact any type of revenge on your children, you should be fine. Because if you truly want to break the cycle, then you'll have no problem being a parent. The problem is going to arise in your parenting is if you keep the toxicity around. There needs to be a complete and total no contact exorcism from your family, period. And if your husband needs to become more vocally involved, then that's what he needs to do. As far as the avoidance, I'll tell you this, avoidant personality is very frustrating. It's very frustrating because you come off as sometimes you can come off as aloof and not caring. Look, you have to be aware of when you're avoiding. And you just look, look at what's happened by you just shedding light and telling the truth about what your mother did to you with your husband. Look what happened. You've become closer, he's been supportive. You know, you're talking openly and now you want to have now, now you want to have another child. What's to avoid at this point? Once you cut the narcissist out of your life, you'll find there's no need for avoidance anymore. Your avoidance problem will clear itself up. Trust me on that one, Abigail. So, I hope that helps. Thank you for another contribution and story. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up Skype, a phone call, have a private video made, or a Facebook live chat, or you'd like to sponsor a video like this for someone who needs help and can't afford it, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful, because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance.